Hey, this is Knife Standards. Today I'm going to be doing an unboxing and first impressions of the Asher Knives Spyro Titanium Frame Lock with a hole. <laughs> I'm not sure if that's all supposed to be in the name. I think they just called the um, the Asher Knives Spyro Frame Lock in titanium, but they have one with thumb studs. This one has a hole, brand new, just in. So we will get into all of that in just a second. But first, please follow me at Knife Standards. You can follow me on Instagram. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel for a lot more knife content and weekly knife reviews. I have been uh, so, so busy and so swamped with um, this project I'm working on, which I will be announcing maybe even in this video. I don't know. Um, but has just consumed all of my time. Have not had a chance to make a, you know, a review video or first impressions or anything uh, in about a week, little over a week. So I'm back. I have a, um, you know, if I'm looking at my desk right now, I have a fair number, five, six, seven knives on my desk right now. So I'm going to get through those and then I will, maybe when I get through those, I'll make my, my announcement. Anyway, let's go ahead and get this guy opened up. Let's see what's inside. This is from Asher Knives. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. okay, okay. So that's it. Nice little box. Nothing too too fancy here, you know. No 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 certificate, you know, COA card certificate certificate of authenticity. Just the box, fine with me. And here we have it. My hands are sweaty, or maybe this is oil. Yeah, maybe a little bit of both. All right, so this is the Asher Spyro Titanium Frame Lock. This is an S thirty five VN. And if you've never heard of Asher Knives, um, it's it's one guy, and I think he's in Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. And ooh, 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 ooh. Um, ooh kind of a snappy, crisp detent. Okay, that'll be interesting. Um, anyway, one guy, and I think for a while he was getting the parts in, and then assembling them himself. That that that's what I heard. Um, you know, someone double check, <laughs> check check me on that. But um, he recently switched to an OEM um, that makes another knife that I have. It's Kun Wu. I had the Kun Wu. What is it? I think the Kun Wu Tao. I got the little no the mini Tao. It was, I'm pretty sure that's the name. It was like a little little tiny. Um, it had a regular flipper, front flipper. Um, and it was okay. I mean, the machining quality was great. The the blade was great. The, it was just, uh, I don't know, a couple things that I had issues with. Anyway, not to say that there's anything wrong with them as an OEM. Um, I know they did the prototypes for Lefty EDC's um, knife, um, the Stout, and now Asher has used them for this knife. I think that he might be just using them from now on, but I know for sure this is by Kun Wu. So I know you guys are probably yelling at the screen and be like, dude, just flip the, <laughs> just flick the knife. So I'm going to, let's go ahead and middle finger flick it. That's what the hole is built for as far as I'm concerned. Let's check it. Ooh, okay, that's, that's it's stiff. It's definitely stiff. Let's see. Okay, no, no, it, I think this will break in a little bit. Detent is definitely crispy, snappy, stiff but not, not painful. <laughs> I have no patience these days for painful detents. The hole is really nicely chamfered. The edges are knocked down, so it's not uncomfortable on my middle finger. Nice little, nice little drop and a shake. Let's check centering. Looks good to me. So titanium frame lock, um, now, I had one other knife from Asher Knives, and I think it was the, the um, what was it, the, the Nomad. It was the, um, I think it was the, it was the new, the Nomad 3.0, and that was an M390. So that had the, um, kind of like the axis lock going on, you know, the crossbar lock. And that was great. That was like, 
the ultimate bug out. I mean, it just, just crapped all over the bug out, in my opinion. And um, I was it really surprised me. So right around the time I got that on the secondary market, um, I, which was kind of just a random, you know, um, I, I randomly came across that that knife, the Nomad for sale. It's super, super high in demand. Same thing with this guy. This The first like secret drop of these sold out really quick. I was lucky enough to get this on the second drop. Um, Oh yeah, good, good, good acoustics. Um, and these are sold out. So I don't know when you'll be able to get another one of these. I did see a couple pop up um, on the secondary market. You can check knife swap, but let's go ahead and talk about, interesting. Um, let's go ahead and talk about um, kind of what makes this knife Ooh, a little bit stiff. I gotta, I gotta work on that that middle finger flick. Uh, let's talk about what makes this knife, um, you know, unique. You know, what makes this knife solid. I'm trying to get the hang of this. Oh, my dryer's done great. I'm trying to get the hang of this flip flick, and it's kind of distracting me. Okay, anyway, let's go ahead and go over the. Um, there we go. Let's go ahead and go over the details. Titanium frame lock. Got the Astro knives. Logo on the pivot, very cool. Um, this little filler tab action for the reversible clip, that's also cool. Looks like T6 on the um, walk bar insert. Nice little backspacer, lanyard hole, if that's your thing. Looks like T8 for everything else. Titanium frame lock, of course. Lockup looks Pretty good, maybe a little bit early, but pretty good. Stonewash finish on the blade. I actually really like the way that looks. Normally not a huge stonewash guy. I really need to keep a stack of paper over here so I can do a little edge test right out of the box. Huh. All right, so it's a little bit slow getting past the detent ball hmm oh ho, 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 my finger so i think i think i'm actually just flicking it yeah i'm just too low on the hole that's okay there we go yeah it works much better the higher up you are I, i'm just you where my hand kind of sits I want to flick it here for, for this size knife. I'm, I'm like comfortable just kind of where my finger lands. I want to get in there, but it's much better <laughs> if I kind of, yeah, super comfortable. Okay. All right. All right. No issue there. Kind of, I think just, I think this, it just needs to be oiled a little bit. I think it just needs, pretty sure this is on bearings. Yep bearings i think it just needs a drop or two of oil maybe a drop on the detent ball let me see if i have do i have a yes i have some oil okay Ugh. um by the way this is super light and it's kind of like surprisingly surprisingly light as soon as i picked it up i thought wow but i don't think i mentioned that yet there are some lightning pockets some internal milling going on might be a little hard to see there you go on both sides which is great to see i got my oil here i'm just gonna do it maybe a drop or two and see what that does let's go ahead and get this Just a little drop there. I'm gonna see if that does it. Just, just a drop on the detent ball. Gonna kind of work it in a little bit. Cause I heard that kind of dry, kind of scrapey sound. And sometimes that is fixed just with, okay. Yeah, it, it, is, it is smoother.
Okay, that's cool. I, I think you know another drop or two um, on the bearings would be would be nice, a nice touch. And I do think that this this will um, kind of break in and just relax and loosen up a little bit the more I use it and play with it, which is a good thing. Go ahead and get the lube out of the way. Cool. So back to the blade. Drop point blade, looks great. Really, really serious edge on it. Nice little sharpening twirl. Um, the one thing that I really, that I remember that was really positive about the Kunwu Tao, Mini Tao, it was unbelievably sharp, like razor, like one of the sharpest knives I've ever handled, which is kind of crazy. Um, and it, it cut the shit out of my finger. <laughs> That's one of the few, I'm trying to think when that review was, maybe, um, by the way, the action is, has already gotten better. That, that drop of lube helped a lot. Um, that's what she's, that's what she said. Oh, okay. Anyway, um, I think that, I mean, the review must've been six months ago at least. Anyway, um, but yeah, I really got myself with, with, with the, with the Tunwu uh, Tao. So I'm assuming this has, I mean, it feels damn sharp. So I'm assuming this is the same sharpening, same OEM. Um, the blade doesn't really want to, okay. Some, sometimes it doesn't really want to drop on me. I guess that's not the end of the world. Ergos feels really good. I, I don't, I do not like these clips. Now, here's the really positive thing. Really positive thing is it is countersunk into the scale. It's not going to catch on your pocket or tear up your pants. That is awesome. It's a really clean look, especially with the filler tab. It's very clean, very simple, plain. I like that a lot. This ridge, I mean, it's good retention. I just don't like the way this kind of feels and sits in my pocket. Just me, personal preference. I've seen these clips before. I forget what knives, but um, it's just not my favorite clip. But obviously they put thought into it, that countersunk um, tab with the two screws into the scale. Very cool. This is, a, this is also a, a fairly thin knife. Now, I don't... I don't, I might, I might start doing it where I kind of measure, measure the thickness and thinness and behind the edge and all of that and blade stock. I, I might get into that for now. I just kind of go by feel and, um, you know, I, part of me wants to go by the number and be like, oh, it's, it's 0.75. And I think, you know what, kind of, for me, it takes, it just a little bit takes away the fun, um, of, of doing these videos if I'm measuring every little detail. Yeah, you know, I wanna know how long the blade is. You guys wanna know how long the blade is or or how long the overall length is. I think that's important. I might get a scale, but I just don't wanna to get too scientific about this. I'll leave that up to uh, <laughs> someone else. Anyway, I think this is a very cool. Oh, by the way, I, I totally neglected to say, Astro Knives, they do budget stuff. This was right around $100 killer deal for S35 VN, titanium. I think this is going to be really fun to use. I'm tempted to do a little spine whack. Oh. Hmm. Let me see. Interesting. Yeah, I might, I might do a little spine whack test on this. Not that it didn't, it didn't, It didn't unlock or anything. I, I, I overreacted. Anyway, <laughs> I think that just about covers it. Thank you guys for bearing with me on my rambles about this knife. Um, I have some really cool stuff coming up. Thank you guys for watching. I will be back with a couple full reviews, and I have a few new knives on my table. So stay tuned. This has been Knife Standards. I will catch you later.